What's going on guys? Bear back with the Odin camp and we're still in foundations and we are on uh, inspecting HTML and CSS. Being able to inspect and debug your HTML and CSS is critical to front-end development. This lesson will take us through the Chrome Dev tools which allow you to see detailed information about your elements and CSS rules as well as assist you in finding and fixing problems in your code. This section contains a general overview of topics that you will learn in this lesson. You will know how to access the element inspector. I do that all the time on accident. And you will know how to select and inspect specific elements. You will know how to test out HTML and CSS in the inspector. The inspector. To open up the inspector, you can right click on any element of a web page and click inspect element or press F12. For example, if you navigate to our home page and open the inspector, you might see something that looks a little bit like the below image, the image below. Note that if you are already logged into the own project, you will not see the page shown below. If you want to stay logged in, use incognito mode or your browser's equivalent to separately view the page. Don't get overwhelmed with all the tools you're now seeing. For this lesson, we want to focus on the elements and styles panes. Inspecting elements. In the elements pane, you can see the entire HTML structure of your page. You can click on any of the elements in this pane to select that specific element. Alternatively, you can click the blue highlighted icon shown below on the left and hover over any element on the page. When an element is selected, the styles tab will show all the currently applied styles as any styles that are being overwritten indicated by a strike through of the text. For example, if you use the inspector to click on the Your Career in Web Development Starts Here header on the top home page on the right hand side, you'll see all the styles that are currently affecting the element as seen below. Testing styles in the inspector. The styles pane also allows you to edit styles directly in the browser. You can click inside of any individual selector to add a new role or click on an existing attribute or value to alter it. In the below image, we have altered the value of the margin bottom in the hero main heading class and the web page responds with the changes in real time. This won't affect the source code and your text editor, but it is extremely useful for quickly testing out various attributes and values without needing to reload the page over and over again. All right. Our assignment is to go through the following sections of the official Chrome Devs Tools doc. Don't navigate to any other pages linked here. Just get familiar with what tools are available in the Dev Tools rather than how to use all of them right now. <clears throat> Open Chrome Dev Tools similar to what we went over above but with some nice extras. Be sure to follow along with any interactive instructions. Get started with viewing and changing the DOM. Skip through any part that uses the JavaScript console. So we're just going to, um, I'm not going to go over the whole assignment on here because it's pretty self-explanatory, but let's take a look at the dev tool. So, um, open all of the ways that you can open Chrome dev tools. Let's look at this. Chrome DevTools is a set of web developer tools built directly into the Google Chrome browser. DevTools can help you edit pages on the fly and diagnose problems quickly, which ultimately helps you build better websites faster, which is super cool. And there's a video I encourage you guys to watch. We're not going to play it here. Um, there's many ways to open DevTools. And then this will just tell you, oh snap, you can do it on your phone too, device mode. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I encourage you guys to check this out. We're not going to check all of it out on the video, but I think you guys should do that. And I'm going to off camera. And I'm probably going to watch this video also. All right. And then there's some additional resources there. And we're going to mark this one complete and I'll see you guys on the next one.